so what I'm doing is doing a podcast with a certain people in my podcast right now. Um, at 10 o'clock at night, but oh well. Um, I'm just letting y'all know that I have officially became part of B7, and they're announcing it on October 3rd on my birthday. Who the fudge is D7? Division 7. Still don't know who they are. They're very popular. They're very popular in what they do. And not to mention, not to mention there's a lot of shit that has been going on. And thankfully I got a friend right here that's going to help me take care of certain bad human beings. And I think y'all know who I'm talking about. Yep. KP and fucking her squabbling little cronies. Now, I want to ask something. On the uh, one... Wait, are you, are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Mm-hmm. On the whole one cake thing. Are we done with her? We are done. She is... She, I want to make sure that her mental health is more intact. And shit, because after what you told me, yeah, and shit, we, we like okay. she's she take it from me, okay? I'm an empath. Do you know what an empath is? Senses, emotions, and everything else. She is legitimately fucking trying her damnedest to be a human being. She may be doing a shit job at it, but she's trying. Trying to make up for what she has done. And I actually can commend her for that. So, if Wolfcake can hear me, or if I, she watches my YouTube video, I, I'm She sorry. doesn't. Oh, she he legitimately has no interest in your channel. Well, I want to apologize. Just saying. I know, but I want to apologize for what I have done to her in the past. And, yeah, that's, that's, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm fucking saying, because... I don't want to bring any more shit up. I'd rather leave the past behind us and start anew. And for what had KP had done to you and shit like that, trying to bring up your past and shit, it's not, it's not fucking worth it. Like, yeah. Just saying. But... For one thing that KP has done to me, is bringing up the same thing that I have done in the past. Like she did with Wubs and so many others. So as I'm saying, she dug up all that dirt on me for no fucking reason. Yeah, she dug up shit from the past. Someone that dwells in the past is only trying to make themselves feel good about it. Yeah. And I'm trying to look into the bright, go ahead, future and stuff like that. But I can understand that you don't want to do any more VA stuff for the MLP community as much. But I am sorry, Wub, for doing that. To you. <sighs> I I'm sorry about what. Happened. That's all I'm going to say. If I ever get to talk. <laughs> but not until all this shit dies down and. And I want the fire to just die out. Fire of hatred, the fire of fucking putting people's names through the mud. I want it to die out. Okay. 
And if KP or their little squabbling little humans want to watch my shit, go fucking right ahead. You won't find a shred of evidence on me that is bad. On my channel. Because I'm just a content creator. Yeah, but you got some dumbasses that just shoot. You just got some dumbasses that are cha chasing the fucking cloud that choose to... <laughs> that choose to sit there and chase the fucking cloud to make money. Yep. I rather just network. I don't want to clap chase. I rather network my way up to the point where people recognize me. Yeah. And to, to be honest, I did wanted to start voice acting with everybody, including Lost and Webcake and everybody else. And just collab with them. Be a regular person, not like clout chase or something like that, but still. But everything, with everything that happened back then, I, it shouldn't have happened. And that was my fault, yes. That was my fucking fault. And I'm sorry. And recently I've been doing some, recently I've been going through some shit like losing my grandparents, last my truck of my family, and dealing with college. So yeah, I've been dealing with a lot of stress. And I don't need people like KP or Blue Demon 21 or anybody like that to treat me like shit. There's Cut out the negativity. Cut it out like it's a fucking cancer. Yeah. I then you'll live your most happiest life. Yeah, just cut it off like cancer. I try to cut it off like cancer as well. But people like to come crawling back and say I'm sorry. But you know what? I'm not going to be that forgiving person like you thought I would be, Blue Demon. See, or, see or that's me. the thing. When you sit, that's when you sit there. That's when you go up to him. The pencil. You break that pen. You give them that pencil, and you tell them to break it in half. And then you sit there and try tell them to say "I'm sorry" while putting that, trying to put that pencil back together. You can put it back together, but it won't be as sturdy as it was once before. Yep, exactly. <laughs> and nobody can break. <clears throat> you broke my trust by treating me like trash and believing somebody that you knew over years then actually actually asking me for like what are you what are you doing in life like ask me questions like get to know me better before you do shit get to know your get to know your potential friends get to know your potential acquaintances before you sit there and play your game of chess with them that might be their highlights yeah, with knife to their because back. Because if you burn them to, once... Or a gun to their back. Because if you hurt them once, your trust can be over with. Right, Jericho? Yeah. <clears throat> trust me. I've had a lot of people fuck me over. And a lot of people still trying to reach out to him. Prime example. This one girl, Joseline. No matter what I fucking did, no matter how many times I tried to fucking help her, she always resorted to the same fucking thing. Now she's gotten to a point to where she doesn't even talk whenever she talks to me. Like, for example, earlier today, she messaged me saying, Hey, I'm bored. Can you send me a little bit of money so I can get an Uber? Bitch, I ain't made of money. Get a fucking job, you fucking pregnant lackey. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, she she had a kid, and now she's wanting to sit there and have money. Bitch, please. Wait. I'm an asshole at times, but sometimes I choose to be an asshole. Wait. 
What? Oh, jeez. Don't miss yourself. No, I'm good. Didn't seem like it there for a moment. I'm good. I'm just looking at my grandma's. <laughs> I just love how these dumbasses are just sitting there looking at the grenade as it comes up, comes to them. And they're like, oh, what's this? God, I love the duplication glitch. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, holy shit, free Kiroshi Mark II optics are to death. Well, that was a weird sound my body just made. What? Yeah, that was. It sounded like when you take a quarter and put it in a balloon and then blow it up and kind of like roll it around. Oh. Isn't that just going to be some new eyes for the game? Kuroshi Optics Mark II. Oh. Oh. I cannot do sky driving. Don't you fucking dare!
Well, anyway, I think that's the next, then that's coming video for, um, my upcoming videos, I'm going to do more recordings and get more clips on my channel, but okay, deal with that. Cool. I'm probably going to be uploading more Pokemon than Fallout. Bye. And Pixelmon, because I got I gotta do more Fallout Four content. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, box of Factory Pop Pass with a couple of people. See you guys later on YouTube.